In this video, I'm going to be going over the top five cards for under 100,000 MT in NBA 2K23. My team, these are just going to be some of the best cards at their position and cards that I would definitely recommend picking up and adding to your team. So first off here, I do want to start with a new card from the Supersonic set, and that is going to be the Galaxy Bull AK-47. I mean, this card for under 100K is just extremely good value being the best small forward in my team currently, at least in my opinion, in my eyes. I think he's the best small forward in the game and has been since he dropped in the super set uh, supersonic uh, set promo and he only goes for about 65 to 70 thousand mt and sometimes he's even lower than that which is so 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 cheap for how good he is he's got 17 hall of fame badges i quickly want to find one that is a i do want to quickly find a base ak-47 but yeah six foot nine at the three really good all around stats 94 three ball 94 mid range 92 ball handle we know ak is going to be such an elite defender one of the best in the game 97 block 97 steel 98 perimeter with a 94 interior defense and then he's also pretty quick with 94 in the speed category but the main thing about AK and the reason why he's so good and better than other small forwards is he's got one of the better jump shots in the game and he also has some elite 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 dribble sigs with the Trey Young escape and the Trey Young size up so he moves like a guard he plays elite defense great jump shot I mean just all around I think he's the best small forward in the game and for that price tag is going to be extremely good value and a card that I think should be on everybody's lineups if you can't afford him but looking at the next card here uh, number two for under 100,000 mt this isn't ranked in order just going to be the top five cards for under 100k is going to be this galaxy bull scotty barnes i think he's really really nice at the point guard spot for about 80,000 mt sometimes you should be able to get him for a little bit cheaper but I think all around is super nice at the point guard position. He's six foot eight, and we know Scotty's going to be an elite defender. I mean, if you take a look at his defensive stats 94 block, 96 steel, 95 perimeter, 93 interior defense. He's also going to be pretty quick 95 speed, 95 acceleration with a 95 speed with ball. I mean, just all around is an absolute beast, you know, athletically on, on and, and on the defense. And then he's also really good at going to the rim. He gets great dunk packages, and his jump shot's not terrible. He's got great dribble sigs, including the Steve Francis size up or yeah the Steve Francis size up and the John Wall escapes who's got some of the best six in the game which is super nice for a six foot eight point guard and then staying in the out of position set another really elite card for under 100,000 MT is going to be this Galaxy Bull Senku and you can find them for around the same price as Scotty Barnes maybe a tad bit more at about 85 to 90,000 MT and it's just going to be another really elite point guard in the game probably a top five top five to seven point guard in the game I would say and he's any six foot ten which is elite defensive stats and all around play he's got a 95 block 90 steel 91 perimeter 93 interior defense he's got really good passing uh, stats he's got really good ball handle for uh, for a point guard who is six foot ten he's got an 89 three ball 93 mid-range the way that I kind of look at Sangoon is he's just Ben Simmons with a better jump shot way better dribble sigs and has a way higher three ball because they're both going to be six foot ten six foot eleven very solid defender I mean, Ben might be a little bit quicker, you know, on the ball. He might be a little bit better defensively, but Sangoon is pretty much uh, just another Ben Simmons type of point guard, super overpowered, glitchy, you know, tall point guard in the game, but at least he has really good sig, so he can move a lot faster on the offensive end than Ben Simmons, and he's also got a higher three ball and a way better jump shot. So for me, I think Sangoon is a top five card for under 100,000 MT. Now going back into the yeah actually no going going to the season five set is going to be the galaxy Super ricky davis the fourth best card or not really ranked in order but just the fourth guy fourth guy i'll be talking about for under 100,000 mt and just like ak-47 is one of the better value cards in the game and same thing with scotty and singoon they're really good value wise as well but just ricky davis and ak are on a whole different level like ricky's probably a top what four or five shooting guard in the game and he only goes for about 90,000 mt and he can compete with some of the best cards in the game offensively because he's still one of the best three hunters in my team with such a good jump shot being six foot seven 98 three ball or 96 three ball 96 mid range really good at going to the basket with a 97 driving dunk 97 ball handle he's a solid defender nothing too crazy but he can definitely play defense 75 block 95 steel 93 perimeter with a nine interior defense and then he's also super quick but the main thing about this card just really comes down to his jump shot and his elite dribble six and just movement he's got you know uh, 16 hall of fame back 
badges including Bully, Limitless Takeoff, Posterizer, Agent 3, Amped, Catch and Shoot, Dead Eye, Limitless Range, Volume Shooter, Clamp Breaker, Handles for Days, Hyperdrive, Quick First Step, Anchor, Clamps, and Menace as well. So really good Hall of Fame badges also on Ricky Davis. And I do think he's going to be a top five card for under 100,000 MT. Now the final card here to round off the top five is going to be from the new Elemental set. And that's going to be the Pink Diamond Peter card. Now I know you can probably get him for like under 50k or around 50,000 MT. But I feel like he's still got to be in this top five for just how dominant and how elite he is at the center position. It looks like he's starting to go back up in price because, because people are realizing how good of a center card he is and how valuable he is at the five for most like not budget teams but just for like people that you know can't afford a Yao Ming, can't afford a Kristaps, a Dikembe, a Kareem, a D-Rob, a Hakeem, you know you can't grind for Hakeem or you don't want to grind for Hakeem. I mean, he's just super valuable at the center position and looks like he's now back up to about 65 to 70,000 MT. And the reason why he's super valuable is he's a seven foot two center who has a seven foot 10 wingspan, a really good player model. He's got an 88 three ball, 90 mid range. He's also got an elite jump shot for a tall center in the game. Like he can knock down threes at a very high level, really good at finishing around the basket. We know he's going to be great defensively, 90 block, 90 interior defense, 84 perimeter, 85 steel. And it's not really because of his defense of stats it's mainly due to the fact that he's seven foot two with a seven foot ten wingspan he's also got a really really wide player model in game yes he might not be the fastest with only 77 speed 77 acceleration but that's what kind of keeps his price down because if this card at 85 90 speed he'd probably be going for like three four hundred k because he'd be like the second or maybe even best center in the game to be honest probably not over Yao, but he'd be like the second or third best center in the game and he's really close to that i think he's like a top five to seven center in the game depending on what you like from your center position but overall just an absolute monster at the center position and i do think he's going to be a top five card for under 100,000 mt so just going over my top five once again just give you guys kind of a run through and just a review number one not ranked in order but number one is going to be galaxy Bull ak number two is going to be pink diamond peter two uh three and four is going to be opal scotty barnes and opal sangoon and then fifth and definitely not least is going to be the galaxy opal ricky davis but yeah let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about my top five for under 100,000 mt and let me know maybe some other really good cards that you guys will put into this top five i mean jonathan bender you know jonathan isaac those are really good cards that i didn't put on here you know even scotty pippen's really good from season four he's really good on the defensive end and does have a great jump shot but in my opinion these are the top five cards for under 100,000 mt but hopefully you guys did enjoy and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace